Hello to you, fellow human. Infinite Spiral here, and today we'll be playing some Kerbal Space Program. I have been looking forward to this for quite some time. I, uh, I haven't played this game since long before a bunch of updates went through. I have no experience with the campaign and reputation systems, with missions and everything. Uh, I do have experience with science. Um, you know, I went to the moon and Minmus and you know, explored all the biomes, but... I didn't really want to go any further than that until they developed the game further and actually implemented biomes on the rest of the planets, so we have a lot to look forward to. Now for anyone who uh, isn't familiar with this game already, um, it's basically a NASA or ESA, like a space agency simulator, and it's kind of crazy, I mean, playing this game it, it does something to you. It changes your understanding of the universe in a way. I mean, at the very least, it gives you an idea of, you know, how astronauts and physicists that work at NASA and other places like that, how they have to think about things because it is a drastically different sort of physics than we deal with in day-to-day -day life. So let's go ahead and get this game started. Player an infinite spiral, of course. And we will be playing career mode. The funds, reputation, and science are all active, and contracts are available at Mission Control. So this ought to be interesting. You, there's difficulties? That's terrifying. <laughs> I'll go ahead and play on normal, because I'm brand new. So let's see, are there any good flags in here? Looks like there's probably some new ones, but I think I am going to stick with this one. Blorbs. Blorbs. Let's get this bitch going. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Right mouse button to move camera or arrow keys. Right click over the facilities to view more about them. Left click when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out blah blah blah. Okay, so this is our Space Center. From here we design our ships, build them, manage any flights that we have in progress, launch from the launch pad, or from the runway for space planes, and there's probably some buildings I don't know about. Yeah, like this one. Don't know what's going on here. Uh, this is definitely going to be a learning experience. Okay, so it seems like these are ways to invest your money as sort of buffs. Or some such. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back to that. So that was that building, whatever it's called. There's no tooltip. Oh, never mind, it's in the bottom left. Administration. Okay, so this is the astronaut complex for hiring new astronauts. And we do indeed start with the original three. I don't know if these guys are immortal the way that they were in previous implementations of the game. I suppose there's only one way to find out, but before we do that, research and development, huh. ah, technology, yes. So, starting out, these are the rocket parts that we have unlocked. Very minimal, and not a lot that we can do with them. We might be able to achieve orbit, I think mostly we can just explore this planet. So, let's go back to administration. And operations, recovery, transponder fitting. Recovering parts landed far away from the space center can be very costly, but I reckon we can could reduce these costs by installing better transponders on the parts we launch. These units are not cheap, but they should make it much easier to find parts, improving the recovery value, even if they're halfway around Kerbin. What do you say? That sounds like a brilliant investment. Uh, I'm assuming this is my money. I don't know what denomination that is. It seems like a square root symbol with a slight thing coming off of it, like an F, VF, uh, whatever. I'll do some uh, research on that later. And commit. Wow. Okay. 
extra percentage to funds to launch costs. Okay, so this increases launch costs and gives a better return when we re when we uh, recover vessels. So I think we should do that. We don't have a lot of money. In fact, maybe we shouldn't do this because that'll cost nearly all of our money on the minimum setting. So where do we get missions? Do we take missions yet? Go to the tracking station. Maybe there's something going on here. Hi again, this is the tracking station facility. In here you can view all of the solar system, as well as solar, should be the Kerboler, <laughs> or Kerbol system, anyway. As well as the current positions and trajectories of all ongoing missions. When you have missions in progress, you'll see them listed on the panel to your left, and you'll be able to make take commands of them from this screen. Take command. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations in orbit or on the surface. Those will be also be visible from here. Lastly, if you want to see the same map view during flight, just hit the M key. Get it. So, we have nothing going on, obviously. And, uh... It would appear that this is not where we get missions from. Mm hmm Contracts. Nothing yet. Okay. Maybe something happens when we go to build our first rocket. Hello, Werner von Kuriman, Chief Rocketry Engineer. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Here's where we build spacecraft and later roll them out to the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Indeed. On your left, you'll find components to construct your own spacecraft. Select a starting part, then attach others to it to build a ship. You can always have a look around, blah, blah, blah. Is it really? It's not as for rockets. Oh, it is rocket science. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Anyhow, if you need a more in depth explanation on how to build, have a look at the training section at the main menu. So, I guess this is also not where we get contracts. I don't know, maybe that's something that happens later. So, let's just go ahead and build. Wow, we don't even have liquid fuel yet. Or. Do we? Utility? Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be editing... Oh, there's the fuel tanks. Okay. So I'm sure we'll be editing out most of the shipbuilding because that is just tedious, especially in later stages when they get, you know, just ridiculous. I mean, look at all this space that we have to build in. Going all the way up to the ceiling. It's, uh... Yeah. Kind of redonkulous. So... Anyway, let's get this, uh liquid fuel tank going because liquid is always far more controllable than solid mm -hmm. don't want to offset or rotate okay well let's definitely put a parachute on the nose because we would like to recover this vessel interesting this is our I'm gonna rotate that I I'm kind of OCD about uh, having that little jet facing either top or bottom. I don't know if it actually affects anything, but it just feels right to me. So, that's what I do. In case you were wondering. And... Yeah, we're not gonna have to transmit anything, I don't think. So, I was gonna save it, but it, it really doesn't bear any savings, this thing took zero time to build. We'll call this Basic Rocketron. The first. If we have a second, perhaps we can come back and change it to Senior. But, uh, that may or may not be necessary. So, we have Jebediah Kerman, the pilot. So these guys have different jobs now, apparently. That's interesting. I guess let us yeah let's let's save it and we can delete the untitled one that we accidentally saved and now that it's saved let's get out of here and just double check that there's nothing we need to do before we launch this thing because if I launch it now I'm just doing whatever I want and you know that's fine if that's what I'm supposed to be doing but this is career mode and I think there are things I need to be managing uh, oh, space plane. Whoops. My mistake. I guess... 
Oh, mission control. That's what was missing. Okay. That's better. All right. Launch a new vessel. These are the contracts. Okay. Excellent. Seemed decent for the chief booking bookkeeper visiting Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society that we were making very little progress towards finding out if we were really, really bored or just had no clue what to do next. It is true, though, that the nice frequency at which we find ourselves proving impossible theories about how we allegedly had a big plan, after all, was quite clearly part of the reason. As you can imagine, we now need your help. We want you to launch a vessel to officially start off the space program. Trivial prestige. Well, I can certainly do that. They'll give me a bit of money and more when I complete it. And they'll dock me money if I fail. Well, it seems like it would be difficult to fail that since technically it doesn't even specify that I need to rec recover the thing. I just need to launch it. So, there. That has been accepted. Altitude record of five kilometers. And same briefing. I can go ahead and do that. Hopefully I can do these uh, simultaneously. Escape atmosphere. That might not happen with this rocket. Is there a time limit on these? I'm not... Expires never. Okay. Oh, can't accept. So, I guess you can only take two contracts at a time. Or at least at the beginning. That's what you're limited to. So... Let us now launch our basic Rocketron the first with Jebediah Kerman as the pilot. Looking good. Let's launch this bad boy. Fulfill these contracts. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot this, uh, Everything has changed so that you can actually upgrade, you know, your buildings and facilities as you go. This is a very basic launch pad. <laughs> That's going to change over time. Is the... In the version that I played previously, there was actually a, a random monolith off in the distance that was visible from the launch pad. Anyway, let's launch this. I guess we'll start at full burn. So... Oh. That's a problem. Can we... Yes, let's fix the staging right here and now, because we didn't do that correctly. So, now, if I had uh, launched the way it was set up, I would have engaged my thrusters and my parachute at the same time, which would have resulted in disaster. So I'm glad I averted that. So now we'll just engage those thrusters, and here we go. Wow. And burning through that fuel real quick. We may or may not make that uh, milestone that we need. Oh dear god. I lost control. I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we are still rising, but we are going to start falling very quickly here. Dear god. <laughs> what was I thinking? I didn't engage SAS or anything. So, okay, we didn't hit five kilometers, but we will at least land safely back on the ground. Provided that engaging the parachute doesn't just immediately rip off the top and cause fatal accidents. And that seems high, yeah, let's, let's engage the parachute. Okay, good. And I don't remember the exact height, but there's a certain height from the ground where you don't want to be in time warp anymore. So I'm going to fast forward for a little while. And there. That should do it. Here's open for a safe landing. Oh, don't explode. Ah, damn. Well, Jebediah is fine. We just lost everything else. Too much velocity. Too much force with hitting the ground. Everything's gone. <laughs> Everything but the capsule. So that's fine. Let us recover the vessel. Five science. Okay, good deal. 
parts destroyed. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. We did get uh, the parachute back and a bit of monopropellant. I forgot that was just built into the command pod. 1 XP gained for Jebediah Kerman. Hooray. Done. And 11 reputation gained. I think that was 11. Maybe it said 1. We will find out later. Well, that's uh, not a lot accomplished, but definitely about all we're going to get out of this first episode, so I'm sure it will be heavily edited. But I appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw here, please uh, take the time to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I have been Infinite Spiral, and we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.